Good day, my Tropics family. How are you doing? If you are not on the PATH program, you are in the need for a laptop or a tablet, you can take advantage of this opportunity. So I am going to show you how do you apply for the own your own device incentives where you get a $20,000 voucher towards a tablet or a laptop to assist with your child's education. So you can type in oyodeducate.gov.jm on your browser or just Google it. Then you see this screen pop up. You press apply now. And then you get to this screen where you see apply here. As you can see in the information, parents and guardian must have a valid TRN number. And the parents or guardian annual income must not surpass $300,000. And the child must have a valid student registration number. And there is one application per household. And the child must not be on the PATH program. Because as you know, the 40,000 tablets that were issued out previously are for the PATH student. Then you'll see this disclaimer. I agree that the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information may process the information provided in the form for the purpose of determining my eligibility for the OYOD incentive. Press agree. And then you go ahead and give your detail. So you type in your first name as a parent that is um, applying for this your middle name as the parent and the last name then they'll require your phone number you type that in they'll require you to put in your email address here you see John Doe hat hotmail.com and of course you enter your nine digit TRN number mm -hmm. then you'll enter your date of birth all these information you have to check that they are correct because the TRN have to match with these information that you are giving if the tearing does that match then you get an error you also know type in your relationship with the child so if you're a father you write father if you're a child mother if you're a guardian you write guardian uncle auntie whatever the case may be you type in your street name as you can see I'm typing in the street name Ogpen Lane and then the community name Chucho Bottom and select the parish this person on that and then you get a listing and you select the parish right there the employment status whether you are employed or unemployed then you'll go to the next page where they'll ask you for the child's information. So here, the first thing they'll need is a student registration number. No, the student registration number is a special number given to the student by the ministry. So usually when the school that they attend register the child to the ministry they'll assign a student registration number so if this is not given to you in a package whenever you register your child from the school then i guess you'll have to contact the school for this information and you definitely definitely need that in order to go ahead so you need to get that and then you type in the child first name the child middle name 
and of course the child's last name. Here you see this is Johnny Boy Joe and also you're gonna need the child's date of birth you select from the drop down right there as well as the gender of the child will be needed as well You'll also need to give the name of the school and you will see this. They'll give you a drop down and you select the school from that. Then you'll also see a drop down. You select the grade that the child is in. Here is I selected grade 8. And they're going to ask, does your child own a tablet or a computer? the child own one you said yes if they don't you said no is the child supported by only one parent you can select if it's yes or no is the child a ward of the state yes or no is the child on a scholarship yes or no as your child receives a government grant is your child a beneficiary of school welfare and then you complete step three and four and review your information Okay, also there's an $80,000 grant towards the institution for a sixth form program that the ministry is encouraging. So if your child graduated July um, 2020, then there's this opportunity that you can be a part of. Um, so the sixth form program have three pathways are three ways in which you can get into this program there's a traditional technical and a general pathway in which there's different level depending on what the student attained at the fifth form level so for the traditional pathway to access this opportunity the student should have five c6 subject including maths and english for the second pathway, the student should attain at least one C6 subject, NVQJ, CVQ, or City and Guilds English and the Mathematics Stage 3, Heart Diagnostic Mathematics and English Test, minimum of 25 marks. So they can have um, any one of these to access the technical pathway. For the general pathway, that's essential for students who have not met the requirement above. They still have an opportunity to do the sixth form program. So for this program, it is $80,000 that is granted towards this student education and it's paid to the institution. The part students, they get additional um income paid into the institution to to help to maintain those uh, students so you don't physically get this money but you get it towards the child's education for additional two years where they can either get a associate degree in cape that is using the traditional they can also get a college associate degree or a occupational associate degree so these are the benefits that they can access through the traditional pathway if you have a child that just graduated high school and they have not moved on to any institution not working and you they fit these qualifications then you can take advantage of this opportunity for them to further their education doing this six form program you need to act now and you can access this opportunity across the island you just have to contact your regional offices for further information and how you can go ahead to apply for this opportunity if your child fits the requirements 
For example, for the Pathway 1, the Knox Community College offers the following, the CAPE Associate Degrees, the Occupational Associate Degrees, and the College Associate Degrees. This outlines the next opportunity. One, the requirement is the, the child must attain at least one C6 subject, NVQ, J, CVQ, or City and Gill, English and or Mathematics Stage 3, or Art Diagnostic Test in both Mathematics and English. And here the student can pursue the following NV, NVQJ Level 2 Skills of Choice, the City and Gills Mathematics and English, Entrepreneurship, Employability Skills, Optional, they can do a CAPE or a C6 subject. And after the first year, students will transition into the occupational associate degree. Um, in this region, these are some of the offerings. Um, the Fogar Road High, they offer electrical insulation and food and beverage. Central High offer ear styling and mechanic maintenance and carpentry. Allied Healthcare Institute in May Penn offer allied health patient care and uh, of course the knox community college here again in mapin offer customer engagement operations such as bpo industrial security operation and business administration so you can get your child into one of these if they just left school and you have to act now if they just left school and they don't have an opportunity to work or move on to any institution here the student do, does not have any qualification and were not successful in the heart diagnostic test there's still an opportunity for them to to try pathway three where they will be able to pursue a city and guilds basic skill proficiency city and guilds math and english with focus on numeracy and literacy skill computer application and employability skills after which the students who make good progress will transition into the technical pathway to pursue NVQJ level 2 in grade 13. These are some great opportunities if your child just left school and you want them to further their education, they can have access to these. Here in Kemsil, they offer food preparation. And in the Portmore Community College in Old Arbor, they offer food and beverage service along with IT for office application. So my Tropics family, you can contact ministry offices that is responsible for your region. You can Google their number and their email address and make contact. I hope this information was able to assist somebody. If you know someone that may be in need of this information, you can always share it with them and assist someone. Thanks.